Hi you. Thank you for stopping in today. Thank you for showing some support on the video. I'm just came in real quick just to tell you guys of the crazy things that I got up into with this video. And I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys later. Alright, so welcome back guys. Thank you for clicking on the video today. Today we're going to be playing some Hogwarts again because I've been having this itch to play this game. Alright, so I made it here. High wing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want High wing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does mm -hmm. this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does Maybe. somewhat. Tread carefully. Entire castle to Rome, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers. We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. Okay. Alright. Alright, yeah, let's get it. Let's go get them. No, I'm playing. Uh... He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. Hmm. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers we're in a few villages in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. They didn't seem suspicious last time I was popping up on them. What? That's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like a okay, rebellion. Yeah. That wasn't what I thought it was. This goblin metal seems out of place. Now. I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. Lumos. Lumos. Oh, that's Lumos. All the wizard people. Oh, I probably alerted them too. It's that one. Sorry. Thinking in terms of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination, in my opinion. Mm. How are you seeing me? I'm in the bush. Or it can feed you, if you get my meaning. Uh, oh, thank God he came down over there. I thought he was gonna see me. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? <laughs> I like how they're saying it. In my headphones, it sounds like they're echoing. Ah, oh, I guess there's enough screaming. Battle to the death. His Hauntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. 
Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. Some mischiefs or some kids rebel against the odds. I mean, this is horrible. Don't get me wrong. It's mean. I don't think that's nice at all. We've got a dragon egg, Hebridean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Now, is that how you keep like a dragon egg warm? You. All right, I have the egg. I'm a dragon egg. It's pretty cool. Fire a few seconds. Let's make them count. <laughs> Let's make them count. Me saving a dragon like that. You're welcome, by the way. No need. This may have been a bad idea. I suppose we'll find Nonsense, it. nonsense. Stop overreacting. It's okay. She's just gonna kill the bad guys anyway. Hopefully. Oh. Oh, wow. Kids okay? I'm just not gonna get in like that. I like how they're so bad. Ooh. Are we gonna give her back the egg, or is that like her egg? She's like okay with this, right? This way. Nice. I love the cutscenes. They look awesome. Sorry if I'm not talking through a lot of them. It's just it seems so nice. I like the visual. I like the dialogue, character development, the that kindness the between characters. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I don't know. <laughs> Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. Yeah, the not something I, I see going to like a pick and, and save or anything. Us, which cannot be good. Let's get out of here. What should we do with the egg? Yeah, that's a Since good question. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Uh, don't I have like a room for the thing? 
We aren't helping ourselves. They're not big enough. Here. Maybe to kill Let's all my other. Safety. Enemies. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Ooh, fire. We're gonna name him Google. There you are. Be unleashed. Okay. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix. The rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Whoa, Before why Deke did it all just become Master really misty? Fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. Wow. It's pretty fucked up, man. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Yeah, you Deke didn't have to tell me that story, but I do feel Phoenix. your sadness. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. The saying, is that a ghost? Can I talk to him? So this is what it looks like at night here, I guess? Maybe, I, I, I don't know. I've, I've came to this spot like a million, kajillion times and I've never... Alright, so let's go talk to her about this mystery dragon egg we have. But I'm gonna eat a muffin, because that looks awesome. Don't know how I ate that muffin through this mask, but... If Jeff Bezos can find a way, he found a way, for sure. Oh, Alright, I guess I have another... You're the only one here! There's up this guy over here that's waiting for me to do his side quest, but I don't really want to do sure his side quest. Oh. But breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. I broke into somebody's house? Hmm. Sorry. Amnesia. I don't know. From our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Do we really have to return the egg? I mean, it would be cool to have a dragon and this whole silver story. thing. I'll as long as I guess we're not right using away. it to fight there against another. You know, what's wrong with it? You know? I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? I, I'm a little curious. I'm going to take a pause right here real quick. So take your moment, my guy. You're going to be sitting here for a minute. But my biggest wonder is why does it always give me this option to uh, rather not say? Is it because I haven't said it in my whole reason to why? Is that painting moving in that background? Oh, yeah, I forget paintings moving. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. 
It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I. Is somebody going to betray me in this whole story? Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, oh, I I'll guard so. your secret as if it were my own. Uh -huh. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. Remember, I have that nan. Track that dragon down as soon I tell as you nan. All right, so I'll let's go find the dragon. News of her location. You'll never believe what I've learned. Well, you never would have believed what I ran into. I ran into a dragon. I ran into mo being able to like somehow uh, control dragons with silver and uh, a collar, which. You guys really hate it and go back in the real world and see that what we do that to cats and dogs. But we found whatever. In the scriptorium. Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's, That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Makes sense. Okay. I know we had to do it to open the Scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, Grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. Precisely. I'd like to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. What? Why don't we tell Ominous? I mean, I'm going to ask that we question. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise... I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't okay. be sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Is that because he broke the vase over there? Or... Is it because what he didn't tell you? That's what I want to know. But I'll talk to Thomas. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Yeah. What happened? I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents oh. had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian uh. and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid any. So it was like, I just felt up. All right. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might. Please, let me know. Sure, why not? It would mean a lot. As much as that vase he broke or no? Alright, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh, I, I was... Alright, so we're back here. I'm gonna go talk to Nassie.
nasty outside of... What the hell was that? So frustrating. Oh, my ear. Sorry. Oh, my ear. All right, let's begin the quest. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Sorry, she your told me to come mentioned here. your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not what keeping she know? I'm a I knew. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. So I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Anamagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Yeah. Now great. the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming. But mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she Come claims on. that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <laughs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. 